but it is men and gentlemen today we're gonna do a remake tutorial of how to install MAME for iOS on iPads or other iOS crap and also no jailbreak no no jailbreak is needed for this crap I didn't I don't even have my iPad jailbroken and this works so I guarantee you this will work if you have an iPhone or or crap so <clears throat> Also, sorry for the other video of me being too quiet. I didn't, I didn't use my mic, and so I'm gonna have to use this broken one. I can't hear audio from this, so yeah, I just gotta talk. Anyways, back on topic. Uh, we're gonna open Safari. It's this thing right here, just in case you very first had this crap. So we're gonna open that and we're gonna type in Well I don't actually you could use any browser. It does I don't think it really matters. You could use Google or any crap. I don't know. But anyways, you're gonna search a website called Top Store. So just do all lowercase or crap because it'll be easier. Actually no, you don't even have to search this. I'll just send I'll just send the link in the description. So we're gonna search this if you wanna actually search this and we're gonna press the first we're gonna press this. And then on the top it says Top Store App Download. So we're gonna just yeet Oh god I can't. That should have been so easy. I'm duty. <coughs> Anyways, we're gonna we're gonna scroll down until it says download Top Store VIP for free. And on top it says install Top Store on iOS, iPhone, slash iPad without jailbreak. So yeah, this will work. So we're gonna press it download VIP for free. It's not really you don't have to pay for anything. So we're gonna just freaking it'll take us here and then we're gonna press download VIP and then it'll say top store VIP would like to install top store so we're gonna click install and on my iPad it says slow data mode is on do you still want to blah 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 this may not happen to you guys it's just have been happening to me lately so I'm just gonna download and then you should I should get a download and it's actually running pretty fast and see top store installed snap whack like that so yeah we're, we're gonna open it and then it'll say this untrusted enterprise developer iPhone blah 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 so if you just see this if you if you see this it's okay just press cancel and then you go to your settings and then you scroll down to general which is right here and then you pr you scroll down until you see profiles and data management and then you see where it says enterprise app in the bottom you click on that and you press trust and then it'll give you this just press trust again and then you should legit be able to just go in and just download it so it'll give you this to go follow them on Twitter I honestly did and it'll just give you this crap I have no idea what it is but okay man okay and then we're gonna press cancel and you see that so you can just see all this so we're gonna go to the search bar and type in MAME just type in that and you should get you should automatically get something called main for iOS but you press get and it'll say top store VIP would like to install main for iOS click install and yes it gives me this it may not give you that on yours but crap so I'm gonna, I'm gonna press download and then it should be downloading right here so I don't see why this should take so long on my iPad because 
it's pretty fast so yeah now see it installed it should say main 64 we're gonna open it up and and then of course we get an ad out of nowhere so it says no games found after installing place your main titled zipped roms in var mobile media roms main for ios roms folder on main for ios for no jailbroken devices use itunes file sharing or use a third party app like iphone box or iexplore to copy roms on sandbox main for ios documents folder so basically what they're saying is that we need to uh switch to the computer and get roms from there like use itunes or third party app and it's actually very very easy so i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna just show you how all that crap works all right see you at the computer all right men and gentlewomen we're at the computer now and I'm going to show you how this works. And it's really, really easy. So there's no need for you to be lazy and like, Ugh, I don't have a computer and crap. Because a lot of people that know emulators probably have a computer. So, or a laptop would work. A laptop will work. So, yeah. So what we want to do <clears throat> is grab um, a freaking charger. No, an Apple charger, of course, everyone has one of these. So, yeah, as I was saying, just don't be lazy. This is an easy, easy crap. All you need to do is install iTunes. It's really easy. Well, don't know where to... Well, actually, you can get iTunes from... If you're on Windows 10, you can go to this store. I don't know where it is. Crap. But anyways, yeah, Microsoft Store, you can install it from there, or you can install it from a link I send it, and install it from me, so, yeah, <clears throat> I installed that one version of iTunes, but you can get it from Microsoft Store or crap. Anyways, back to the video, so you wanna connect your you want to connect your your charger here to your iPad so my iPad's a freaking school iPad but wherever your freaking wherever your um charger thing is you want to connect it there and then you see this you want to go to the back of your computer or go wherever your USB part is the USB part so, I'm going to plug it in right here. See, this is a USB port. Wherever that is located, you want to connect your charger to that place. So, this is where the real fun begins. So, first, you want to click on this button right here. Or, if you're lazy to do that and want to use the keyboard, can press this and it'll open it up so we're gonna click on itunes sorry if you cannot really see it's hard to hold a phone and a microphone at the same time or well, a broken one so yeah i'm trying to get this close to the camera as possible so my computer is pretty slow so it'll give me a few minutes to open up itunes but yeah once you connect this right here Wait, hold up a second. I just gotta get rid of that. Oh yeah, but it will say that. It will say that once you connect your iPad. If you see this, then your iPad's connected. Or if you see that little tablet right there. Uh, right, hold up a sec. Right there, right there. Yeah. If you see that right there, then you know it worked. So we're gonna click on the tablet. And then we're gonna press um, we're gonna press file sharing right here. Easy work. And then we're gonna scroll down to main for iOS. And then I'll say this. 
you have to open up you actually have to open up mame for that stuff to show though you have to open this app up so sorry for the cord in the way they're just being retarded right now so yeah so then you want to grab your folder of your roms ROMs are the games we're gonna play on main. So I've got mine titled Main for IRS ROMs. And then those are all my ROMs right there. I don't have enough storage on my iOS, so I'm just gonna try to send these. Send little versions of the freaking ROMs. So I'm gonna just you see these you just click this you hold this and it'll copy these and it'll turn blue then you have to drag the roms you have to click on roms right there and you're gonna drag it and then it says copying it says copying 10 or blah 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 files of the rom i'm just showing you an example I'm gonna try to get some more ROMs in here. It may say I don't have enough space. So I'm gonna just try to get all my 90 ROMs up in here. I'm gonna try to get all my 90 ROMs. It may not even work, man. It may not even work. Yeah, see, it says I don't have enough freaking space. Freaking frick. Oh, wait, no. It doesn't say I don't have enough space. Why am I so blah, blah, blah. Okay, replace blah, blah, blah. Replace, apply to all, replace, replace. And it says I don't have enough space, so I'm gonna just have to work on this crap. I'm just gonna have to work on that. Yeah, cause I have a lot of ROMs. Anyways, yeah. So you send, you send your ROMs to main 64. This is really easy. This is, this is just how you send them. But also about the folder part, always have a folder of your ROMs on your computer because sometimes it'll say that um unable to verify app when you open it and that means you're going to have to reinstall the app and your ROMs won't stay there, they'll just disappear. So always have a backup on your computer of all of your ROMs and crap. You can download them from, you can get your ROMs from websites and crap. It's actually really easy. You could just type in a ROM and then it'll show you. I suggest WoW ROMs because if you type in MAME um, 0.31 you want or something ROMs, then those are like MAME for Droid ROMs. So it'll literally work on MAME for Droid or something. And this is basically MAME for Droid, just they just renamed it MAME for iOS. They're the same thing. They're the exact same thing. So, yeah, that's how you send them. And that's why you want to have a folder of all your ROMs. Because then you can just send them right back. Right back to a uh, main for iOS when you have to reinstall it. This may go for Top Store though. But if Top Store is unable to verify app and you just have to wait and it won't install... That's because there's like snitches on Twitter, I think, that just report top store and then blah, they just get revoked for a solid two weeks or something. So yeah, just make sure to have a backup folder of your ROMs. I'm gonna try to get my other ROMs in here in a bit. May have to reinstall main because I won't even know what ROMs just sent. So yeah, back to the um the back <laughs> Sorry about that, I'm just being retarded. Back to the freaking iPad. Alright, boys and gals. I'm back on the iPad. So, the first thing we're going to want to do to actually see the ROMs, we're going to press the B button. And it will say, moving newer ROMs. And Kazawa, there we go. And that is it, that's the ROMs. So yeah, so basically you spin the joystick to open ROMs. My iPad's pretty powerful, so it can actually run this game. 
So I'm gonna just do a quick gameplay, which probably may not even happen because I'm I have to play with my fingers, like my pinky, and the freaking joystick. So yeah, this is just a quick gameplay, and I have my audio down, and I'm gonna show you how you can turn off and on the audio and crap. So first, we're gonna go into settings. There's all these options. You go to defaults, and there's a sound. You can turn it on or off. I have mine's off, and you can just screw on with the other settings. I'm gonna just show you the cool ones. And if you go to layout, there's a layout one. There's a layout two. That just changes the skins. I won't have time to do that because my iPad's kind of crap. It won't record the full video, so I gotta kind of rush through this. If you go to game input, um, there's options. I like analog stick, and I've been since I was five years old because that's when I first had this, when I first had MAME. So yeah, I'll tell you why in the comments. So button size. This 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 is a good one. You can change the buttons to small, smaller, or bigger. I like mine's big because I have big hands. So yeah, basically. Basically, you can just screw around with the settings. You can save your state, and that'll just save crap. I don't know. I don't know what it does, but I used to know how to do it. Save canceled. So yeah, that's Mame. That's basically how you do this. So first, you're gonna want to once you send the ROMs, you just press reload ROMs, and that's basically how it works. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Sorry for kind of rushing through this, but I'm just showing you what you can do in the settings and stuff. You you may want to check that out. And and also and also and also also if you press coin and start, there's a you can change your input. Sorry about that. My computer's still connected to the freaking computer so you can change the input controls by pressing B and press something else you wanna press on like if I press move right or something and to change that you can press exit and then you just have to press B press exit and then it'll just restart it so yeah or you could go to cheat options. I'll let you explore the rest in here. Just just use it wisely because you could get yourself screwed up in this one. There's like cheat. There's invisibility and all that stuff. Because main comes with all that. So yeah. Sorry for rushing through that part. This part I meant. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty crap. But it's better than the last one. Where you couldn't hear me at all. So yeah. Uh, thanks for watching this, and also, no, not November.